Now, Gumpy, hey, I've been waiting to talk about this until this hour because there's a man that's going to join us here in a little bit that definitely needs to hear oh, this. Mm -hmm. The soccer world is about to be rattled to its core. Everybody knows the name. Messi. Once a player for Barcelona. Mm -hmm. His entire life born and raised within the confines of the Barcelona Football Club. He went to school there, he trained there, he worked there. He became the greatest soccer player on earth at Barcelona FC. Then, when he left and went to PSG just last offseason because Barcelona almost went into bankruptcy. That's right. He kind of disappeared. Yeah, he did. And when he disappeared, people were like, is Messi done on the soccer field? He was great at Barcelona. He was the greatest at Barcelona. Now he's become somebody that nobody even chats about. The announcement has been made. Messi is coming to the MLS. Yeah! yeah! Lionel Messi is set to head to the MLS. In 2023, the Argentine will spend next season at PSG before leaving European football and buying 35% of Inter Miami, being Jackie Moon and joining David Beckham's franchise. There is a total agreement between both parties. Uh, source Alex Candle, this is via Transfer News Live uh, on Twitter. I hate to say this to the world. I hate it. I don't like to do this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I like to be a beacon of optimism and positivity and everybody's welcome here. And everybody is welcome here. And your chats and conversations and thoughts are certainly, you know, appreciated, respected in this particular conversation and show. But soccer's our game now. Oh, yeah. Sorry, boys. Sorry about it. <laughs> We're about to win the soccer Lombardi and Qatar. Okay, uh -huh. they're playing it during American football season. You think that's a coincidence? No, because it's our fucking game yeah, now. Yeah. We got Messi coming over. Wait till Ronaldo signs over oh. here. Zlatan uh. Ibrahimovic was already here, yep. obviously. Mm -hmm. The MLS is about to be a problem. We want Inter Miami in the Champions League starting immediately upon Messi's arrival. You're welcome, world. You're welcome, soccer. It's our game now. Gumpy, did I get everything right there? Or did I miss anything in the soccer history, in the soccer future? That is 100% ours now. Spot on, my friend. This is this is what the MLS wanted when it started. Guys Ooh. like this who are at a point in their career where they're not playing in Europe anymore. Now they come to the MLS and dominate. What do you? What point is that? Their best, their prime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This Absolutely. one they're playing their best soccer. That's, that's yeah. right. I'm not so sure. And Bob doesn't come over and play for Miami too because well, he's up in the air. Well, I seen David Beckham over there dapping everybody up at PSG. This is probably when he was negotiating oh, a deal yeah. with oh, Methy yeah. to buy Inter Miami. But maybe Mbappe comes over with Methy. I don't know if they liked each other. Did they play good together this year? Um, Mbappe unfortunately just signed with Real Madrid for next season. Maybe. No. No. Maybe if he's yeah, player coach, yeah, he's he's big money trip. He hates Messi's well, guts. Does he own the team? Does he own the team? If he hates Messi's guts. Maybe he fucking goes and signs with the Portland Timbers. Oh, okay. Could you imagine Mbop up there at the Portland? Oh, oh God, <laughs> be a good club, dude. Imagine Mbop and Lionel Messi oh. taking their respective clubs into the MLS Championship and then going and competing in the Champions League. Now oh. we got a league. What now we're playing sevens on the Red Bulls. Well, Ooh. what's that scumbag Zidane up to? What do you oh. mean? He should coach. You're oh, saying yeah, he's, he coach. he's a coach now. Yeah, but he's a coach. I mean, Neymar could come play for the New England Revolution. And no, 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 yeah. no, everyone, no. we're the best team in the league. We no, were last not. year. No, we're we're going to be this year. Now, now Columbus Crew got a brand new stadium. Maybe CR7 goes and plays for the Columbus Crew. Works, Cristiano's Columbus oh, Crew. Oh, yeah, oh, Rallo ain't wow. going to Ohio. The minor league team just beat the Columbus Crew, Pat. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Is Messi going to score like eight goals a game? No. Yes. I don't, I don't know who that is. So when David Beckham signed with the MLS, this was at like the uh, middle of the Beckham mania that was going on, which happened in the World Cup when he hit a PK like 90 some miles an hour, and then he hit a free kick, and then the Bennett like Beckham thing happened. And obviously he's incredibly attractive. And through Manchester United's growth in America, he became an absolute champion of soccer yeah. in America. So they just gave him like, I think he was making 
five million a day maybe for three straight years or something to come and play for the LA Galaxy. And when he got here, he had, there was like some 80 yard balls he was hitting people. He's hitting some free kicks. Like he definitely did well. Zlatan Ibrahimovic came in with a bang. Mm -hmm. Every time these guys show up in LA, I think Henri even had a pretty good oh, run yeah. there yeah. with the Red Bulls. I think every time somebody comes to the MLS, they do have success pretty quickly. So yeah, let's, go. let's assume Methy's going to do his yeah, thing. Pirlo, he crushed when he came over, played for that New York team as well. Yeah, absolutely. The that Italian. David Villa. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, is it time for Polythic to come home then? No. Uh, we have more news for Methy, I guess. Uh, bogus report, read 35% of in Miami. This is a negotiating ploy, not something has been discussed. Messi to Miami has absolutely been on the table. However, and with a new stadium incoming, it's not as long of a shot as many think. What? Well, I what? thought it was confirmed. What did Taylor Twelman just say? Twelman's probably mad he's not going to fucking Chelsea. <laughs> That's just because it seemed like Twellerman was <laughs> leaning Chelsea in the Chelsea Liverpool FA Cup final uh, because he thought Chelsea was going to win probably. No, what? no. What he said was there was more pressure on Liverpool because they'd already won a cup and Chelsea had been bad all year. So there was no pressure on them to win the game. Well, how'd they get in the FA Cup final? If it, exactly. Yeah. Hey, that's a stupid sport. That's like winning with no hits. That's Twellerman. That that's Twellerman. No, I'll tell you, Twellerman's probably a good guy. He's taking a lot of shots. I mean, Gumpy, the personal shot there. But so we don't know if this is real or not. To get to the bottom of it, joining us now. Now, college football national champion, Super Bowl champion, Ryder Cup champion, mm -hmm. COVID survivor, AJ Hawk. AJ, hey, hey, hey. AJ, so is Methy going to Miami or not? Uh, all the reports I have read, and you know, I am dialed into that soccer culture. Yep. I think Methy is going to be in Miami. He's going to be a part owner, and they're probably going to win it like 10 straight times. 10 what? straight years to win one of the 15 soccer championships that they have per month. Well, Whoa. the thing about those soccer championships is there's only a couple of them mat uh, that matter. Yeah. The CONCACAF, yeah. right. I think that's the number one. No, I'm sorry, the that's, Soccer Lombardi. That's yeah. number one. Soccer Lombardi is number one. CONCACAF is number two. MLS Cup's number three. Yes. And then the I guess Champions, Champions League. Euros, yeah. Don't forget the Euros. Euros are the Euro Euros high, probably. Uh, yeah. FA one's a lot older than Euros, so go ahead and drop that one down a True. little bit. Gonzalo Higuain is already at Inter Miami as oh, well. Really? He played on Argentina with Messi. So he's a childhood friend. Yes. They, wow. play, they play up top together and they yeah. are a formidable foe. Oh, and Messi's like, yeah, so I'm going to make money off this team and I'm going to get to slice and dice people with old childhood friend. Let's go and do this. Can an MLS team though, Pat? Sorry, can an MLS team go to the Champions League? Can no. we see them do that? Well, that's what we've been saying this entire yeah. time. It, it's our sport now. So if you want to actually call it the Champions League, like you got to have a representative from the MLS. Top four from MLS should go. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine we send a team over there and <laughs> twenty nothing? Be no. <laughs> yeah. No. They, yeah. Twenty nothing. Them. You mean? In, in yeah, terms yeah, of yeah, Miami. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Remember, same league that we saw a goalie whiff on a pass back yeah. to him numerous days in a row. I yeah. think yeah, during right? the uh, entire bubble. The guy season. had a sitter in a box. It took a massive divot. He fell. Just, yeah. <laughs> fell on his face. Mm -hmm. Now that was in the middle of COVID, yeah, so was, we don't know what yeah. everybody was going right. through. Right. Yes. The MLS's back tournament did save us. That was all we had. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah.